now we're gonna put on the tower or baking stone as some of you all know it as let that get nice and hot right good morning good day and welcome to the industrial capital of Trent Tobago, San Fernando, the southern city. I am Val. And I'm Eve, welcoming you to our kitchen today. So that we may share with you our cooking experience. Now for me, I've never measured anything for saddle roti. I grew up using, you know, just taking a little bit and pouring it in and pouring it in. No measurement or anything. I've been doing this since I'm seven years old, needing flour for roti. So in here I have some flour, whole wheat flour. Um, in the modern days now we use a little oats and wheat germ and whatnot. And now I'm going to put some baking powder. As I say, I don't measure like this amount for this amount of flour. And just enough water. I go by the field of it, how it feels. You put your water in, good old trusty enamel bowl with the dents, just like back in the old time days. Learned from my grandmother to make roti and knead flour. And if when you finish kneading your flour and on the side of your bowls have anything stick up in it, you will get licks. So that's why I learned to clean the sides of my bowl shouldn't have anything on the side of your bowl okay, bring everything together like this if you need you just add a little more water you just knead them up A nice uh, sticky pliable dough. Good. Let's get everything off the sides, remember. You don't want to get licks. For those of us who grew up with licks, we know what licks is. Good little spanking. Right, and there you have. Now you have a dry a bowl with some dry flour. It's called, long time we used to call it the paratan bowl. Sprinkle a little paratan, knead it up, a little oil on the top, so the top of it wouldn't get form a crust. That's why you put the oil and you cover him down and let him rest for about 20 minutes. Now we are going to roll out the dough are just also known as lawyers. We are going to make lawyers for the roti, right? So this is how you do your lawyers. Like this. It's all about the wrist. Turn the wrist. Wrist. Turn the wrist. Right. Again, fold it in like this. Turn your wrist. And as we say in Trinidad, we leave it to soak. The longer your lawyer soak, the better it is to roll out or bailey. As I will show you further, what a bailena and a chowki. Right, I leave that to rest. We must speak Arabian. Yeah, is that a Caribbean lawyer? Is that a Caribbean Hindustani hybrid or is that both for you? Bojpuri, L O Y A. And, uh, yeah. A ball of dough. That's the Bojpuri word for it. And um, I'm talking to Pandit Mewalal, my, 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 my partner, my vegetarian cook. And, and Chonke. Yeah. How do you spell Chonke? C H U N. K E. Transliteration. Okay, that's Caribbean Hindustani again or Bhojpuri? Bhojpuri. <laughs> and she chonke the pot and she burn up the what? <laughs> burn up she knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the, the word, um, 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 Billy. It's again, is it Caribbean Hindustani or is it Bhojpuri? 
Bulge Curry and Billy and, and the Chow Key and the and the Billy now only that uh, Bulge Curry Woods. Okay. I see Billy now is in noun. Billy noun. All right. Where can people get this information on Caribbean and this Hindustani Facebook page? All right. Okay, now we're gonna put on the tower. Or bacon stone as some of you all know it as so that get nice and hot. Right. Okay. Remember, bailna or rolling pin, chowki or board. And the lawyers that we did earlier on. Make it out, you open it out like this. And you use your dry flour or paritan. Remember the turn of the wrist. Roll. They don't have to be wrong like the wool. I mean, you could have a little edges. <laughs> if you try the first time and it don't work, don't give up. Just remember, I'm doing this since I'm seven years old. You can roll it as thin as you want, or some people like fat roti, some people like thin roti. I prefer thin rotis. Now we're just gonna test and see if our tower is hot. Our tower is hot enough, so we can put our roti on. Right. Now as soon as you put your roti on, give it a little few minutes, you'll see your bubbles start to come up. As soon as your bubbles come up, you turn, Right, so you see in your bubbles there, and you see your bubbles, you turn. Obviously, there's more heat on one side. Right, so today I'm gonna show you two methods of shaking. One method is you pull your tower one side and the roti get direct fire. That's called seking. The roti to swell as one method. Let's see, mm -hmm. roti swelling, and of course it bursts here, so it wouldn't continue swelling. Once there's a burst, it won't continue swelling. There we go. Now that is a called Seke Roti. And of course, you know, this is called by the Hindi by Simta. I guess it had to have been Bochpuri again. Right? Now, right. So, long time when you do, you take a knife and you cut that in half and you put wood done butter. Or cold leaf butter. That's going on like tablet. 